and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host, Teddy. I have a bandage on my wrist because a giant hornet decided to sting me, which wasn't very nice. It hurt a lot. It didn't look very good either. Uh, <laughs> so if you followed me on Twitter, you would have known about that as soon as it happened. So uh, yeah, if you're not following me, that's a good reason to, because then you could find out about this stuff when it happens. Uh, not very nice, but the pain's mostly gone away now, so that's good, but it still doesn't look the greatest, that's for sure. Anyway, today we're talking about the Intel i9-9900K, and basically there's been a lot of talk about this CPU because of how hot it's been running. Um, a lot of the tech reviewers, there's been a lot of chatter right now about uh, how hot the 9900K runs and also variations from uh, video to video showing how hot uh, it does run, you know, from reviewer to reviewer. We're also going to be featuring the cooler I use, which is the Be Quiet Dark Rock 4, which is an excellent cooler, and we'll talk about that a bit more very soon. But first, I just want to say that something you guys really need to keep in mind is that there's always going to be variation from uh, video to video in terms of the temperature and performance numbers for us tech reviewers so in the case of the 9900k we all had a different cpu it's a 9900k but there's a silicon lottery some of them run hotter than others uh we all did different we all ran different motherboards different coolers and we would stress test them in different applications you have to keep that in mind in saying that you should see that generally speaking the numbers will kind of make sense you know like they'll all run if the cpu is a hot running cpu then everyone who tests it regardless if they run a, a more lower end cooler or a very very high end cooler you'll see that reflected especially by comparison to other cpus that you may be familiar with in this video we'll be talking about of course the amd 2700x so you just have to keep all that stuff in mind but in saying that when there's big outliers obviously you need to then uh, look at what they've done and see what the reason is behind that so let's talk about the cooler i used for all my cpu stress testing and what i'll be using for all my cpu showdowns going forward which is the be quiet dark rock 4. now i selected this cooler because i felt that it would be the best representation of what the majority of you guys might run uh, in terms of its cooling performance compared to other air coolers and even uh, liquid coolers. But let's talk about some of its features. And we'll start with the fan. So it's coming with what they call the Silent Wings 135mm fan, which provides very good airflow, but it's very quiet, which is always a nice thing. It has six copper heat pipes and airflow optimized wave contoured cooling fins on its pretty sizable tower it's got it's very easy to install and remove which is good for me for doing my testing obviously it's designed in germany and comes with a three-year warranty now i've been using this guy for a a little while now and i've been impressed by it not only with its cooling performance but how quiet it is uh so it is a good cooler definitely and i i really like it and comparable to other coolers it would do uh the same sort of cooling performance job as probably like your 120 millimeter liquid coolers um the thick ones and any of the 140 millimeter single fan uh tower coolers i would say this is right on par with all of them i mean 135 millimeter fan is pretty much a 140 uh with a pretty sizable uh tower there so that's what i would say it's comparable to which is again why i think it's a good representation of what many of you guys might be running and why i'll be using it for all of my cpu showdowns going forward but speaking of showdowns i did my 2700x versus the 9900k one and so let's jump into that so the the application i used was ida64 and a lot of people use this i did the cpu stress test within that software and as you guys can see, I'll put it up on the screen right now, you'll see that the stock temperatures fall pretty similar, uh, fall in line with what a lot of the other reviewers saw. It was going up to the mid to high 70s. 
at stock speeds. That's certainly getting up there. And then with the overclock temperatures, you see 91 degrees. Now, most people I would say, judging by the comments on the video, uh, thought my stock results seemed where they should be. But a few people were going, hmm, that's a bit interesting about the overclock results because some other YouTubers were running uh, higher end coolers than what I was and their temperatures were a bit higher. And I want to say this is probably for three reasons, I would say, that this happened. The first is that I think a lot of people uh, <laughs> underestimate the Dark Rock 4. Honestly, this is a pretty damn good cooler and looks are deceiving. It has a lot more cooling performance than I think a lot of people expect out of an air tower, uh, an air cooler, I should say. The second is the motherboard I use. So I use the ASRock uh, Tai Chi Ultimate and I use the latest BIOS, the, the one it just came out. I think it's 1.38 off, off the top of my head. I can't quite remember. Uh, I'll obviously put it in editing if that's different. But uh, I, I use the latest BIOS there, which they said would help with power delivery. And also then the third point being that uh, my 9900K that I was using this guy right here required less voltage than many other YouTubers. So I saw that many YouTubers, uh, uh, other my tech reviewer friends, were requiring 1.35. Some were requiring 1.37 volts to hold like a 5.1 gigahertz overclock. Now with my one, I guess I won the silicon lottery. Uh, either that or the Tai Chi Ultimate just did a fantastic job of you know really. Uh, utilizing this CPU and allowing good overclocks with it. Uh, it's probably a combination of the two actually, because I could do 5.1 gigahertz at 1.3 volts just fine. I think if I played with it a bit more and really tried fine tuning in, I could probably get it down lower than that to maybe like 1.29, 1.28 volts. But it was very happy at 1.3 volts. No issues at all. So that's going to round out this video, guys. I want to know what you think about the intel i9 9900k in regards to temperatures do you think it runs too hot or do you think this is just a case of it's an eight core 16 thread cpu running at five gigahertz out of the box so of course it's going to be a hot running cpu that's kind of unavoidable and that uh we just you know anyone running this just obviously needs to be an enthusiast and run enthusiast grade cooling with it or do you think it's just excessive now and, and intel should have done a better job of trying to control the temperatures with it if it, if that was even possible i'd really like to know what you guys think uh also i really just have to give a shout out to the dark rock 4 honestly this is a seriously good cooler and i do recommend it to any of you guys out there um if you're looking for a a air cooler that's not going to break the bank that does a really good job while being very quiet and is easy to install then this is one i would recommend to any of you guys out there it does a fantastic job i'm using this in my personal rig and this is going to be my personal cpu cooler uh, going forward as well uh, i really do like it it's a very good uh, air cooler and uh, I think a lot of you guys out there would really like it as well if you're a hardcore enthusiast then obviously you're going to go for something more uh, high-end you know much more high-end and also much more expensive but if you're more a casual user who's wanting a, a just a good cooler that doesn't want to spend a huge amount of money and also you maybe want to just get into some overclocking then yeah really do consider the uh, dark rock 4 it would be a good cooler for you now, I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.